Ladies and gentlemen, if you need to add individual error bars in Excel, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, so follow along. Let's add those individual error bars. So we're going to go ahead and let's select this average over here. And um, once you've done that, you're going to come over to the right hand side here. And now you can choose one of these charts over here and you can see the example as you're going along. So let's go ahead and let's use this one over here. What we're going to do now is on the plus icon here, you are going to add a chart element. Let's go down to the error bars and you can just add standard error bars. But what we want to do is just one step further. We can go in here and you can see here there's standard error, there's percentage and then standard deviation. But we want more options and we're going to go down to custom and we're going to specify a value. Now the value that we're looking for over here is our standard deviation value that we've added in here. So we're going to click down on this value and select all of it. And we're going to make sure that we're going to click over here as well and add that value in there. Let's click on OK. You've now added those individual error bars onto your chart.